Welcome to two examples of determining the area of a triangle on a grid. And we're told each small square on the grid has a side length of one meter. Before we determine the area, we need to determine the length of the base and the height. Because we are using the grid to determine lengths, we will let this side be the base. Notice how the base has a length of one, two, three, four, five meters. We will label this B equals five meters. The reason we are not using, let's say, this side as the base is because we cannot easily determine this length using the grids. And now the height is going to be the vertical distance from the base to this high point here, but because we have an obtuse triangle, we will need to extend the base to the left as a dashed segment. And now the length or distance from this high point to the extension of the base will be the height. Notice how the height is one, two, three, four, five, six meters. We will label this H equals six meters. Recording the information below, the length of the base is five meters, and the height of the triangle is six meters. The area of the triangle is the number of square meters that will fit inside the triangle. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height, or base times height divided by two which means for this triangle, the area is equal to one-half times five meters times six meters. Before determining this product, though, let's use the commutative property of multiplication and change the order of this product. Because one-half times five is a mixed number or a decimal, let's change this to one-half times six times five because one-half times six is equal to three. This simplifies to three times five, which equals 15. The area is 15 square meters. Which means exactly 15 square meters will fit inside the triangle. Let's look at one more example. Same question, different triangle. Because we are using the grid to determine the lengths though, we will now let this side of the triangle be the base. Notice how the base has a length of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meters. We will label this side B equals seven meters. Again, the reason we're not selecting, let's say, this side for the base is because we cannot easily determine the length using the grids. And now if this is the base, the height is going to be the vertical distance from the base to this point here on the right, which should be this length here. Notice how the height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten meters. Recording the information below, the length of the base is seven meters, the height of the triangle is ten meters, and the area of the triangle is equal to one half base times height. In this case, we have the area equals one half times seven meters times 10 meters. Now for this example, let's leave this product in this order. One half times seven, or one half times seven over one is equal to seven halves. We have seven halves times 10. Let's write 10 as a fraction with the denominator of one. Before multiplying, notice two and 10 share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and five twos and 10. This simplifies to seven times five, which equals 35. The area of the triangle equals 35 square meters, which means exactly 35 square meters will fit inside the triangle. I hope you found this helpful.